Hey gang, it's your old buddy Plant. Today I show you how to make sausage with a kit. So let's go. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know in the past year or so I've started to make beef jerky. Uh, we started off with regular beef jerky, then we used ground beef, we used ground uh, chicken, ground turkey, bison, we even made alligator jerky, we made bacon jerky, snack sticks, pepperoni sticks. We've done quite a bit with the jerky world and I think we all realize that we're eventually going to get to the point where we want to try sausage. And that's what we're going to do today. Um, I recently got a book and started researching on the sausage making process. And it is a little more in depth, a little more involved than snack stick making. So I thought what we would do, because uh, we're going to start this new journey of uh, sausage making, I thought we'd start, start the simplest form of sausage making. Uh, that's what we're going to do today. And that means A, that we're going to uh, utilize a kit, and B, we're going to make breakfast sausage. Breakfast sausage. Uh, it's generally formed in patties. There's no casings. Uh, you don't necessarily, like a summer sausage, a chihuahua, you don't smoke, you don't sit out, you know, you don't let rest for a while. It's generally ready to go after you've mixed everything together. Uh, simplest form of sausage making, which is uh, good for us because we like things nice and simple. Uh, Real quick uh, on the casing issue, I will talk about casings a little bit later because maybe you're bringing up, well, hey, haven't you used casings before in snack in snack stick making? We'll talk about that later. Uh, I'm utilizing the High Mountain Breakfast Sausage Seasoning Kit. Uh, this is the original Mountain Man blend for all you Mountain Men out there. Uh, makes up to 24 pounds of sausage. If you would like this kit, I will leave a link down below. We are going to utilize ground pork. Ground pork is a stable uh, in sausage making, especially breakfast sausage. Um, one thing when we get to sausage making a little bit is that we'll learn that you actually want fat uh, in your sausage, unlike snack sticks and jerky where we want to eliminate the fat because it made it harder to dehydrate that meat, also made it easier for it to spoil. Here we want some fat, we're going to need some fat in there for texture and flavor. Uh, eventually down the line when we start making a little more complicated sausage or chihuahua, we'll start having blends where it might be a blend of beef and pork. Uh, you might use a game meat like a venison or an elk that's low fat. You need that pork to kind of provide balance. So uh, again, those future forms of sausages, if we made a kielbasa or an andouille or you know, summer sausage, whatever, you're going to need more fat in those, they're more complicated, but uh, pork is going to be an important player, so I thought we would start off with that. Uh, today we're going to do a pound and a half batch, normally I do one pound batches, but between what was on sale and uh, the way the kit reads, we're going to do a pound and a half batch of breakfast sausage, and um, we'll cook it up and give it a try when we're done. With that being said, Let's make some sausage. All right, so we have a clean bowl, clean hands. Uh, you wanna make sure everything's clean before we start this process. I have my one and a half pounds of my ground pork. Uh, next, I wanna take a seasoning pack. There's a couple of them in there, but they're both the, the same packet. And we're going to use roughly a tablespoon. The, the, the uh, instructions say, oh, a little aggressive there, but that's all right. The instructions say that roughly a tablespoon per pound and a half. Now, the way we're going to do it is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit now. We're going to mix all this in. Oh, yeah. Who says you can't play with your meat? Then we're going to add... A little more. And we're just going to keep mixing. And we're going to just add a little, mix a little, add a little, because we want to make sure we get that seasoning 
all throughout this meat. So we have a kind of a nice consistent flavor because you don't want to get pockets of the uh, seasoning where it's too intense and you know you kind of want to spread the love around. All right, we'll go ahead and put the rest of the seasoning in there. Get that all mixed in. Now, even though we're not using casings, we're still going to want to keep this meat fairly cold. Um, it's a bigger deal when we get to making sausage and casings, but you still want to keep the sausage cold. Just helps with body and everything. So, all right, we're fairly well mixed. And we're going to just top off with a quarter cup of ice water. Well, we even have a few little cubes in there. And we're going to mix this in to the sausage. Again, the cold water helps the sausage. And just get this all mixed in. I'm going to continue to get this all mixed in and then we'll come back and we're going to pull off a little off the side and uh, give her a taste test. All right, so I got all the uh, sausage mixed in and I went ahead and threw it in the fridge but I took a little ball, made a little patty and so we're going to give this a try. We're going to cook a little bit. Uh, never In the sausage books and the thing I've read, they always say whatever kind of sausage, even if you're putting it in a casing or whatever, always take a little off to the side to cook, to taste, you know, where you're at seasoning-wise. Uh, they say do this before you go into the casings. Here we're not having to deal with the casings, but I just want to pull off a little off to the side, and we're going to give her a try. Oh, listen to that. That is the sound of happiness. Uh, if you grew up like me, breakfast was a big deal, and the the smell and the sound of sausage cooking in the morning just got your day going. So I'm going to cook this little piece. We will come back to give her a try and then wrap up. All right, gang, the moment of truth. I've cooked our little uh, sausage patty. One thing you want to remember, especially with pork, thoroughly, thoroughly cook it through. Uh, pork's a little more of a risky cut of meat. It needs to be at a higher internal temperature than, let's say, beef or elk or other uh, meats. Uh, also, too, this uh, pork blend was 85% lean, so it was an 80-15 mix, just to let you know. All right, let's, uh, let's give her a try. It smells good. That tastes like breakfast sausage. It tastes like, it tastes like my grandfather used to cook me breakfast as a kid. He always had fresh... Uh, breakfast sausage you know nice little spice not over the top but just that's a good traditional sausage uh, damn I might eat the whole pound and a half right now really good uh, again not over the top uh, High Mountain has uh, other uh, flavors in the blend I think they have a maple and a uh, something I think they refer to as traditional. This was the Mountain Man blend, but overall, real good. Um, real quick, after you get done making this, if you leave it in an unfrozen state, it's good in the fridge for about three days. If you're not going to eat it all in three days, go ahead and freeze it. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and preform into patties. You know that that's up to you. Um, Getting back to casings, because some people are like, well, hey, I love breakfast sausage. What about links instead of whatever? Um, and for some of you maybe think, well, hey, if you have a jerky gun like I do, or maybe think, well, hey, he's got a jerky gun. Why the casings used for jerky are different from sausage casing. It's a thicker casing. Again, it's prepared to be dehydrated compared to cooked like a like a sausage casing. Uh, also, too, uh, those casings that uh, get used for uh, snack sticks are collagen, 
Um, traditional uh, casings for sausage are hog casings, even though they do sell collagen casings. There's various sizes uh, for sausage, all the way from the from the breakfast link size to regular hot dogs to kielbasas, summer, you know, all the way up to the big summer sausages. Um, so you'll have to do your research on that, but it's different than, I, I probably couldn't use my snack stick casings for this. Now, maybe an experiment, I might could make a breakfast sausage snack stick, but I would have to use the, um, the special curing salt for that. So maybe that's an experiment we might do down the line. Where do we go next on the um, sausage in? Again, maybe do links, maybe do a just a traditional summer sausage, something like that. Most likely it would be a kit, even though uh, we can make uh, you can make a breakfast sausage with ingredients you have at home. Um, the ingredients on this kit are pretty straightforward. You got black pepper, red pepper, uh, sugar, dextro, salt, and spice extratives. Uh, hold on, extratives, spice, spice extratives, which is kind of a vague category. But this is something that could probably be replicated at home. Maybe that's another experiment we try. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.